I've dated a lot of girls in my life, but when I finally met Megan, I believed I'd found the perfect girlfriend. I was in college at the time, and I met Megan in the library. We spotted each other from across the room, and it was love at first sight. She was so funny and beautiful. She had long locks of brown hair and sparkling green eyes. When I asked her out and she said yes, I couldn't believe it. We started dating and I realized just how horrific my past relationships had been. Megan was always so easy to talk to and she never got jealous like the other girls. She also gave me space to hang out with my other friends. She wasn't one of those girls that hung on to you every second of the day. I felt so lucky. I had found the perfect girlfriend. Or so I thought. But before I go on, don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification bell for more crazy stories like this one. When Megan and I had been dating for around a month, things started to change. It started off small. Sometimes I would go to my closet and try to find my favorite red shirt and it would be missing. I would look everywhere, but I couldn't find it. Other things started to go missing too. My earphones disappeared, even though I had sworn I'd seen them on the kitchen table just a minute ago. Some of the essays that I had written would disappear, even though they had been safely tucked into my folders. It didn't make any sense. Sometimes money would disappear from my wallet as well. I asked Megan, but she said she had no idea where they had gone. Weeks went by, and I soon forgot about my missing stuff. Then, I went to Megan's dorm room one day. I was in her bedroom, and she was outside chatting to some friends. I was standing beside her bed, and as I bent down to tie my shoelaces, I looked under her bed. What I saw made me gasp. All of my missing stuff was there. My favorite shirt, my earphones, my essays, my money. How on earth did it get there? Why did Megan have it? When Megan returned to her room, I confronted her about it. Why do you have all my stuff? I asked. I have no idea, replied Megan. Maybe someone found it and put it under there. Maybe someone's trying to frame me. She started to act scared and was fearful that someone was trying to sabotage her life. Being the sympathetic fool, I immediately tried to comfort her and tell her it was alright. What she was saying didn't really make any sense, but I trusted Megan, so I forgot about the missing stuff. You remember how I told you Megan would let me have time to myself? Well, after several weeks of dating, all that changed. She would start forcing me to be with her and hang out instead of studying. I had to spend every second of every day with her, even if I didn't want to. But she told me she missed me so much, so I believed and trusted her. But as I spent more and more time with her, and less and less time studying for college, my grades started to decline. But I had the perfect girlfriend, so I didn't mind sacrificing my grades if it meant I could stay with Megan. But then, sometimes I would be in my dorm with Megan and I would go to the bathroom for a second. I would come out and Megan would be on my computer, looking through all my files. She was really disregarding my privacy. But when I asked her what she was doing, she said she was just searching up something on Google, so I let it slide. As a couple, we would send pics to each other on our phones, and I would send a bunch of funny faces and embarrassing photos that I would prefer to stay between us. But then Megan would screenshot them, joking she would use it for blackmail. I laughed it off as well, but little did I know what she was capable of. Then, one night, something really scary happened. I was sleeping in my bed and I thought I heard a noise. I woke up, heart beating fast, and I saw Megan sitting in a chair, just staring at me. I cried out in shock. I leaned over to turn my bedside lamp on, and when I turned back, she was gone. I asked Megan about it, but she said I must have been dreaming. It felt so real to me. But again, I trusted her, so I let it go. Then, something happened that was really weird. I was on my way to class, walking with a bunch of my friends, and people started staring at me strangely, and laughing and pointing at me. I had no idea what was going on. Then, one of my friends pulled out their phone and cried out. Some anonymous person had posted all of my embarrassing photos online. I was mortified. But the only person who had seen those photos was Megan. Surely, she wouldn't have leaked them. She was my girlfriend. She loved me, right? I was so confused. I didn't want to believe she would do that. Where had the perfect girlfriend I had fallen in love with all that time ago gone? I wanted her back. It was like one of those commercials on TV when they show you a product and it looks so amazing and attractive. But then when you actually get it, it turns out it's just a sloppy mess.
I decided I had to ask Megan. I sent her a message and told her to meet me in the library, the place where we first met. When I got there, she was on the table, calmly reading a book. I stormed over to her and asked her about the photos. How did this happen? I asked in anger. But Megan just stayed silent and didn't speak. I kept talking to her, but she just looked at me blankly. Why aren't you answering me? How did these photos get out? I repeated. Again, all I received was silence. Then, Megan stood up from her seat and just walked away. As if I hadn't said a thing. As if nothing was wrong. As if my entire life wasn't ruined by these leaked photos. To this day, I still remember that blank look on her face. And it still sends chills down my spine. I couldn't understand what was happening. What was wrong with Megan? She used to be the most perfect girlfriend. What happened? Then, I decided to confront her. I asked her what was wrong and she finally revealed everything. My so-called perfect girlfriend wasn't who I thought she was. We were in my dorm room and I pulled her onto my bed. No more lies. No more unanswered questions. I needed to know what was wrong. What's happening, Megan? Why are you acting so strange? I asked. Megan looked at me, then she rolled her eyes. I was shocked. I lifted my hands, moving to hug her, to figure out what was wrong. But she turned away from me as if I was revolting. I was so hurt. Why was she acting this way? A week ago, she had clung on to me like I was a life buoy. Why did she turn away from me now? Get away from me, she snapped at me. I was so confused. What? Why, Megan? She scowled. I'm not Megan, you idiot. My mind couldn't process her words. What are you talking about? Megan sighed, and then she brought her fingers to her eyes. I stared numbly at her as she seemed to dig into her eyes. She showed her hands to me, and I glanced at the eye contacts in them. I looked back up at her and was startled by her blue eyes. But she used to have green eyes. What? I mumbled. Then Megan sighed again and grabbed at her hair. I cried out in surprise as her hair fell off, revealing the blonde hair beneath it. She had been wearing a wig all this time and green eye contacts. But why? What was the point? Then I looked at her more closely and everything made sense. As it turned out, her real name wasn't Megan. It was Sarah, my ex-girlfriend from high school. My mind recalled memories of Sarah, my ex-girlfriend from high school who was blonde and had blue eyes. She was sitting right in front of me. But why was she here? Why had she disguised herself and dated me? Sarah, I cried out. Oh, now you remember me, she said. I gasped. But why? Why did you do this? Sarah looked at me with hatred. Because you were a terrible boyfriend. You always treated me badly and I needed revenge. So you leaked the photos? Yeah, and I did steal that stuff, you imbecile. I can't believe you didn't realize it. I trembled under the realization that Sarah had changed her identity to get revenge on me and had used her cover as my girlfriend to sabotage my life. Because of her, my reputation was ruined. My grades had fallen and I was broke. I couldn't believe it. Had I really treated her that badly? Was I really a terrible boyfriend? I tried to remember that one year in high school when I had dated her. I was a different man back then. I was probably known as the school bully. I guess I had been mean to her sometimes. I remember calling her names like Stinky Sarah. Or I remember in class when I had spread the rumor that she had seven toes on one foot. If you ask me why I did horrible things like that, I wouldn't know what to say. Maybe it was just me acting up with my weird teenage hormones. I don't know, but was it really worth plotting revenge against me? Putting all this effort into deceiving me? Besides, I was a different person now. I was kind. I respected women. Couldn't she see that? I had changed. But then Sarah spoke up. I guess the gig is up. So here's the deal. If you don't apologize to me and admit you were a terrible boyfriend, I'm going to leak even more photos, some of which you really don't want getting out. Trust me. I relented. Fine, I said. I'm a terrible boyfriend. Sarah smiled evilly. And you suck. I sighed. And I suck. That's all I needed to hear. She stood up, walked out of the room, and I never saw her again. Well, not in person at least. I was in my last year of college and I was watching the news one day when Sarah's face popped up on screen. Except this time, she had neither blonde nor brown hair. She had jet black hair and it was cut in a bob. 
She was also wearing dark brown eye contacts. I was shocked by her appearance, but nothing shocked me more than the anchor man when he said she was in prison. She had been involved in a bank robbery and had stole over $1 million. The police had caught her and she would be serving a sentence of six years. I was somewhat relieved as I wouldn't have to worry about seeing her for another six years. But I was also saddened by how she had turned out. She was a maniac. Was it because of me? Is that why she acted so crazy? Had her hatred and revenge for me driven her insane? And then I started to fear for the future. What about when she was released from prison? What if her time spent there just fueled her hatred towards me? What if she came out wanting to seek revenge again? I still don't know. I still haven't seen Sarah. I'm not sure what was wrong with her. But one thing's for certain. Sarah, Megan, whoever she was, was one crazy girlfriend. And she wasn't the perfect girlfriend I had initially believed her to be.